Hi guys, it's your girl Madison Scott Mako coming back to you with another YouTube tutorial. Yep, another one. Um, I hope y'all guys stay tuned. This is the look we're going for today. I definitely didn't know what I was coming into today. I know that it's fall. I wanted to do something kind of fall inspired. So I did a smoky look um, and I hope you guys like it. So definitely like this video, subscribe and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you and um, let's get on with the show. So we are going to go ahead and of course hydrate my face. Probably, probably should close my mouth when I do that. We're going in with my uh, hydrating water gel. You see your girl got a little color? I'm going to take it down for y'all a little bit later. But she got a little color at it. She's never, never really had color like this. So it's a change up. And I am going to use, let's see, what is this? Nurturing Force Blot Out Offensive Shine and Oil Control as a primer. It kind of reminds me of, you know, how we was using, we, cause she was too. The Milk of Magnesium, it's kind of that kind of consistency and it like really, really blurs out and allows you to actually have your makeup stay for a long period of time. You don't need much. So I'm go kind of going back and forth between this and my, um, my Tasha primer that I've been loving lately, but they both do a very good job. So I just thought I'd put y'all on to something. It's a nice little, you know, amount that you get. So, I think I'm gonna do the eyes first since it's gonna be like a smoky look. I don't want the fallout. I don't know. I'm gonna do the eyes first. I normally do my face first. I want to do the, I still want to do the face first. I was, I'm just going to have to be real careful when I go into the eyes. So we're going to go into the face first. And today I am going to use my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation Stick, which it's like becoming a holy grail for me. Like I really, really, really like how it wears throughout the day, how it looks, how it stays in place, how it keeps me looking like matte AF. So we're going to go in with the color 360 and you see my little, my little discoloration right here along my cheek line, like it covers it magnificently. So we just going to go ahead and do that. Mm hmm. You might need a couple layers, but it's really affordable for you ladies. If you haven't tried it, try it. Let me know how you like it. Cause I love it. Going in with my little F brush, blending that in. Smooths out wonderfully. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more and just cover my little spots. It's a full coverage foundation, but Sometimes, you know, you just got to go in on them spots that just want to be seen. They want their time to shine. And I just, you know, kind of stipple that into place and not really move it too much. All right. What y'all think? All right. I like it. So next, I am going to... What do we do next? Conceal. I think I'm going to use... Some AJ Crimson, 4.5, and I think number, what is that? Five, I think. You want to start slimming up that nose so you bring that highlight right to the side of that nose and you start blending that in. Whatever's left over on the sponge, I just dab it on my chin. All right, I like that. Again, we're going to double conceal. 
to make sure my concealer stays in place. And we're going to use the uh, colors Deep and Tan Sands right here. Just to add like a little extra highlight, little pop. My highlight is normally like a, it's very subtle. I like subtle pops. I don't want it to be like too dramatic for me. It's too much for me. So I'll mix the two together. Okay. So when you're doing a face, I want to know what y'all do. Do y'all normally do y'all eyes first? To keep the fall off from setting in your makeup, or do you do your face first? I was, you know, I was contemplating doing my eyes first because, just because of the fallout. You know, I said I was going to do like a cranberry smoky eye, so I was like, I don't want to get all into my makeup. But I got nervous, y'all, I got nervous. I used to do my eyes first all the time, and then... What has it been? I think it's been since about, it may have been earlier this year. I started doing my face first. I just like to see my face pulled together because then it always kind of leads me into what look I want to do on my eyes. I don't know why. I don't know. It allow, I guess it just allows me to think about it because I still do my face pretty much the same way, but it allows me to think about what I want to place on my eyes and it forces me to be more careful. But... What do y'all do? Y'all do your face first or you do your eyes first? I want to know. Go ahead and contour these edges. I am going to use Black Walnut by um, Black Opal and Ebony is by William Tuttle. I'm going to take a little small ColourPop stippling brush and I just dab it around my edges, y'all. I just want it to be like a, a, you know, a shadow. I don't want it to be so harsh. I don't want it to be too much. So I just dab it. And make sure you get it into these edges where your hairline starts, ends, whatever your hairline doing. Get it into them edges. You don't want to see where the color stops and starts. Jawline. Make sure there's no harsh lines and that it's well blended. You go back over it with your beauty blender. Because we want to make sure we are blending it out. Key. Blend. So now we are going to go in and set that concealer. And I'm going to use my Smack Studio Fix powder in the color NC50. Yes, it's a bit light for me, which is not, or which is why I'm not using it all over my face, but definitely in the highlighted areas to set that area. So, you know, get into those, those creases, you know. Make sure you pull it face down, look up, and get into those fine lines, okay? Okay? See that? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. You can also kind of, if you want to reinforce that little contour. Next, I'm going to go in with my Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and set the highlight again. Mm -hmm. Everything in tubes. Because I like them in tubes. Right. So what's next? I think we're going to do the brows next, which is normally, you know, what I do. Go in with both of these, which is the ColourPop um, my Brown Pencil in black and brown and I normally use that towards my edges to help define that and then the Gerard Cosmetics brow bar to go all right well we like our brows we like them to stand at attention so go ahead and brush them up brush them up brush them up 
Try to see if 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 both of them want to be friends today. I, we never really know until we get to playing with them. So we'll 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 try it out. So I think she's trying to be my friend today. We're going to see. We're going to see. I know, I know, I know. It's a little too dark for my hair color choices these days. It's all right. We will lighting she up. Um, hmm. Clearly. They ain't really effing with each other this weekend. You see how this one... I think this one is, I mean, she was out here doing too much. What y'all think? A little bit? We're going to roll with that one today. We're going to stand them up. All right. I'm going to clean them up. All right. And then we're going to tone them down. One, two, and three. And we are just gonna use some random tinting brow gel that I got from the beauty supply. And reinforce the direction that the hairs are going by brushing in an upward motion. I'm gonna blend this here harshness up under my eye. I forgot to contour my nose. I like to. I can't believe y'all let me forget that. That's let's bring that down a bit. You want to start at the brow, so it looks like it's coming from that areas. Look as natural as possible. Mhm. Mm that happened. Mhm. Mm you see. So now we're about to attempt this cranberry eye. All right, people. Now I'm going to go in with this NYX crayon jumbo eye pencil in black bean. And keep it low because it, it could spread pretty quickly. And you just want to create the shape that you want to have for this eye look. And I'm going to use like a half moon type of shape. Okay. I'm going to take a clean brush and try to just diffuse the edges a bit. I don't want to go too high just to diffuse. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the color Create. From the Morphe Dare to Create palette. And it's going to take a little time, so just be patient. Keep building. And now we're going to deepen with the color Passion. I don't know why. It's always so much easier for do, for me to do this. Ah, I guess it's because it's, I'm right-handed and it's closer to my right hand. I don't know. But this one, yeah, I don't pay no attention to that. Eye, but we're going we gonna to focus on this one, okay? So I am just going to try to take a wipe, right? And what has happened is I 
started off trying to create this rounded shape eye and then I decided mm -mm, she don't really want that today. She wants some more cat eye look. But as you can see, the pigment has kind of fallen under where my eye line stops. So I'm gonna try to clean that up with this wipe. Stacked lashes. Focus, focus, focus. I still kind of want to deepen my. Am I doing too much? Because I want to add some more depth in the corner. My job. Right now it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know where I'm going with all this smoke, but she adding it because she wants it. Okay, just right there in the corner. Smoking it out a little bit. Really wish I knew where I was going with all this. You know what? I'm going to a baby shower and they about to look at me like this. Um, where you was going? Just a bit. Too much? What y'all think? Your waterline. Y'all see that? I see it. Go on top of that contour and just set it. Mm. How y'all doing? How y'all? How y'all coming along with the process? For those of y'all that may be, you know, trying to do as I do. Did I give you, show you enough? I wanna, I wanna feel like I'm offering everything that I can offer. So that you, t you guys too can achieve this non-smoky baby shower look. It's, it's definitely for a baby shower, y'all. But I was just going off what was requested. Somebody said that they wanted like a cranberry smoky eye. So I said, I can do that. And then I realized I had this shower to go to. So I'm just going to walk up in there like, who got the smoke? Who got it? She do. Use this golden bronze by MAC. Ooh. Milani Baked Blush in Rose de Oro. I don't know. I didn't do well in Spanish. <laughs> we know I'm not doing anything dramatic for the lips today because what? The eyes are doing enough. Thank you. Thank you for coming. God bless and good night. So we're going to kill it with a, a good new at NYX Espresso Liner. I think I want to try, ooh. Set my face. And then I'm gonna put my mascara on because I don't want it to be running. Hi guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this time. I enjoy spending time with you. Um this is the look that came out. What you guys think? What you guys think? I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Y'all see my new color? Yes. She has a little color today. Um, and I hope you guys like it because I really do. Um, but anyway, let me know in the comments if you liked it. I hope you definitely come back and join me for another tutorial. Uh, comment below. Like this video and definitely subscribe so you'll get all the notifications when I have a new video coming out for you guys to check out. So until next time, bye.